What up world, welcome back to Ill Reviews, the channel for the movie heads and the music junkies where I keep you up to date on what's popping in these streets. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications because I will be doing at least two movie or music reviews every single week. Though y'all ready? Let's get it. Yo, it's that time. It's finally here, man. Highly anticipated new album from the one and only Pusha T. It's called It's Almost Dry. It's his eighth studio album. I'm looking at the cover art. The cover art looked kind of like the cover art from the Diet Coke single. Um, that he released a while back. Um, yeah, man, y'all already know what time it is with me, man. I gave Pusha T a lot of criticism on my last reaction to that Neck and Wrist song. I just felt like he's not elevating with his music. Um, he's not talking about his real life. He's not speaking on his family like that in his music, his, his fashion uh, adventures in his new music. Uh, he's just not going with his music, and I'm just calling everybody over 40 out that's not going with that music. I got to call him out, man, because it just, it just, I know I'm, I'm going into this, it's called It's Almost Dry, so I'm going into it knowing it's not going to be a classic, it's not even going to be an attempt at a classic. It's Almost Dry is almost a name that he could have gave a mixtape, you feel me? Like it's, I don't really think I'm going to get really that much, that many gems, I don't think I'm going to get that much substance. He chooses to stick to his um, boogeyman, coke dealer persona, you feel me, for 20 years straight, two decades of being that person he's sticking with it but i don't know maybe i'm be wrong you feel me like it might be some good stuff here it might be it might be fire i don't know and don't get me mad but let's get into it see what we think it's only 12 tracks you know what i'm saying i could deal with that let's go the first track is called brambleton let's check it out who is we? Who is he talking to? He's talking to someone. Like he's talking to somebody specifically. I wonder if this is about somebody he really used to hustle with, or just like a made-up scenario. Um, if y'all know exactly who he's talking about. Let me know in the comments. Okay, yeah. He's talking to someone he used to be cool with, I guess. Not the hardest intro I ever heard, but it's alright, I guess. Let's check out track number two, Let the Smokers Shine, The Coops. I like the energy on that production though, I can't lie. Okay, Cocaine's Dr. Seuss, you feel me? This is pretty much what I expected, you feel me? Um, But dope production from Pharrell. Uh, that song was kind of short though, you feel me? It only about two minutes, a little over two minutes. It is what it is. Next track. Track three is entitled Dreaming of the Past featuring Kanye West. On that one he said, if you huff and puff in the club, then I gotta be shine. I thought that was a dope line. Uh, Push us, he's pretty much snapped over a dope yay produced track. Um, but I thought it was weird that Kanye only spit like six bars, you know what I'm saying? Um, so far, I don't feel like this album is cohesive. You feel me? It's like it's skipping around. And you kind of try to figure out like where it's gonna go. Like, what's the theme? I know it's almost dry. So, but I'm like, uh, how are we gonna go? How are we gonna attack this this subject, this theme? Like, it just seemed a little bit random so far, in my opinion. Track four, neck and wrist. Uh, I did a whole video on that already that I spoke about earlier. Y'all go check that video out. Track five is entitled Just So You Remember. Uh, he said the purest snow we selling white privilege designer drugs will turn niggas limitless. I like that line. Um, I like the production, but it's pretty much more coke flows. Uh, haven't heard anything of any substance yet. I'm still waiting on. Track six is entitled Diet Coke. Uh, we already heard that. Let's just go to track seven, Rock and Roll featuring Kanye and Kid Cudi. <laughs> Let's 
<laughs> Yo, y'all know I love samples. And I'm pretty sure Ye produced this. It's back to the basics. Hop back in the main. Look at me legally selling dope on all of these stages. Been changed here. Still next to Ye in here. Yo, Pusha got the benefit of dope production. Um, I like pretty much all of the production on here so far. This song is cool, you feel me? So far, this is the, the best song that I like so far. Yo, it sounds like Kanye about to go off. And I'll be looking forward to Kanye verse because I know he's going to rap about something he's actually going through right now. But he sounds a little hoarse, though. I don't think it's just me sounding like he needs to clear his throat or something and drink, drink some water. Okay, I can rock with that, but what's unfortunate is, uh, I don't know if y'all saw it, Kid Cudi put out a tweet, said, even though they're on this song together, they still not cool, um, which I said is unfortunate, because they usually make some good songs together, like when Kid Cudi and Kanye on the same song, it usually go, and this one kind of go, um, but yeah, I like that track. Track 8 is entitled, Call My Bluff, on this track, Pusha T just reminding us that he got uh, killers on deck, um, I really didn't like the beat on that one, so I was kind of cool on that one. Track 9 is entitled Scrape It All featuring Lil Uzi Vert and Don Tolliver. Um, the way this song sounds is just to me just, just saying that this album's theme, Cohesion, has gone completely out the window. Most of these songs um, either have like a, what, a sample or have a gritty feel. This song is like light and poppy, you know what I'm saying? Which to me it don't really fit with the sequences of the songs. Um, I actually like Lil Uzi verse. I like his verse. Uh, but I don't know, man. I'm gonna come back to that track. It was kind of cool, but it just the feel of that track just threw out threw off the whole vibe of the, the space that I thought we were in at this album. But I don't know. Track 10 is "Hear Me Clearly," which was been released a while ago. Track 11, "Open Air," he said, um, "Parking Lot Cemetery is ghost in there." I like that line, and he actually has some more clever one-liners on that on that track that I can. Um, uh, appreciate no production from Pharrell. Um, yeah, man, but with one song left after this, uh, I ain't got super high hopes for this for this album. And the final track on this project is entitled "I Pray for You," featuring Labyrinth, Malice, and I don't know why they list the clips. <laughs> the way this song is starting out. This song actually sounds like it could have been the intro. Alright, hold up, hold up, hold up. I gotta see who produced this, man. Who made this? Kanye and Labyrinth. Okay. Yo, that's really how you should have started the album. This this album should you should have started with this song and then stayed on this level of energy throughout the rest of the, the project. Hellcat still paddle when I ship Vietnam flashbacks. I get triggered by a sniff again. Back up on my high horses, chariots again. Put the ring back on a finger, marry it again. Okay, try to milk a game that is only 2%. Greet you with the love of God, but that don't mean we friends, yo. He was snapping on that one. I like that joint. You feel me? And that's it. That's all 12 tracks. So after listening to this entire project, I say the top three tracks for me, uh, the best ones is um, Hear Me Clearly, Rock and Roll, and I Pray For You, you feel me? I think them them songs uh, was the best. I mean, for me, I don't know, at this stage of my life, the music I listen to gotta make me feel some, you know what I'm saying? I think those tracks uh, brought the most energy, the most emotion, um, but this, like I said, is kind of what I expected. Um, when it comes to replay value on this album, I feel like I'm gonna listen to it about maybe two more times. And then I'm probably going to be done with it. Uh, I think the production is what saved this project. Of course, Pusha T got his one-liners, but without the... Because this pretty much whole thing is produced by Pharrell and Kanye. You feel me? Like, you really can't lose. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I'm going to rate this project a 3 out of 5. Um, 
Yeah, man. Um, I definitely like that rock and roll. I'm definitely throwing down the playlist. But yeah, I'm pretty much here for the beats. You know what I'm saying? And Pusha did his thing, a couple one-liners. So yeah, that's how I feel about it. But I want to know what y'all feel about it. So let me know in the comments what y'all think about this uh, project, y'all favorite tracks. And yeah, that's it. Till next time, y'all treat each other right. It's a cold world. I'm just trying to heat it up. This has been another episode of Ill Reviews. I'm out. No. What you talking about? Yeah, you know I'm on. Think like a boss. My Chicorleon. I'm a go getter. Till my chromosome. Shut the hating up. You see, I'm on the phone. What you talking about? Yeah, you know I'm on. Think like a boss. My Chicorleon. I'm a go getter.